let's go. Welcome back to Backpack Battles, everybody. I'm going to try the Pyromancer class out today. Let's do it. Starts with the flame. All items trigger 2% faster per stack. This will simply give us one flame at the beginning. This is also synergizing immediately with a lump of coal, unsurprisingly, I guess. Ow, oh, it can be a weapon socket or in the backpack. We get a random buff after three seconds. Interesting. Well, this combines with the sword, too. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a bummer, Keiko. Hopefully you can figure it out. Yeah, this game's been fun. Let's see here. I had Hammer last time, and I uh, it's just too big and clunky, man. I don't know. It's on sale, though, so that feels like it's probably worth it. If only four gold would be a pretty huge upgrade, but I feel like I ought to go ahead and try to keep synergizing with Pyromancer stuff early on. And any flame is going to be pretty nice. Fine with me. Ah, oh, really leather bag. Nice. Absolutely taking that. And then, let's see. Customer card early on increases the rarity of one item in the shop every time it refreshes. That seems like a good investment. We'll see how this goes. Didn't really empower ourselves all that much from that first round, but... Hopefully the sword and the flames are enough to skirt by. Yeah, really, anything they've taken is probably going to get to them going, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead on our first round here. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of damage. That's all right, though. We're, we're prepping for next time. We're getting, we're getting ourselves going early here. Got a burning coal now, which socketed into this weapon would have a 12% chance to deal 6 damage and gain heat. That seems pretty good. We got a synergy with the whetstone on this guy as well. We can try that out. Hero sword requires a second object. Interesting. Spear. Not going to quite be affordable. Walrus tusk. Oh, yeah, I can move my bear cam down. My bad. I forget about that for this game. I'll be the shopkeeper again. Hold again. I'm beginning to wonder if customer card was even really worth it. Better really to be doubting myself, isn't it? I'll just send this and see how it goes. Got themselves a short bow, okay. This is already feeling a little better. I feel like the burning coal socket improved our odds quite a bit. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Come on now. Whoa, what ha what happened there? Did I run out of stamina or something? Alright, whatever. Fanny pack. Pretty happy to take that. Got yet another lump of burning coal. Might be worthwhile. Okay. We'll take this. Slot that in there. Looking good. Reroll again. Ah, oh, a box of riches. Another flame, though. Just get all the fire, right? That can't hurt. Hmm. Eh. I like I need another weapon or something. Get another leather bag. Another whetstone. I wonder what this other thing is for the sword that we need to get the hero sword. Is this? Oh, that's gonna do that anyway. Okay, I see. Eh, just send it. Not a lot of help early on here, but maybe I'll get lucky with the worst build we're matched up with. We are 0 and 2 already, so I imagine the people we're fighting are probably not gonna be doing that well either. <laughs> a fellow customer card user, huh? Yeah, there seems to be a pattern there. Oh, was customer card synergizing with something? I didn't even notice. Pay more attention. Alright, nice. Knew we could get a W. Hungry Blade. Interesting. Could be a good way to go. 
Oh, with itself? Interesting. Platinum customer card. That's kind of fun. I'll try that out out of curiosity. And then I might just grab this Hungry Blade. I know we synergize, but... I'll take it. Socket for that as well. Nice. Oh, what's going on with this bag? Shop entered. Spend one gold to generate a flame. In five max health for each fire item inside. Ooh, cool. Okay. Well, in that case, here, let's move the whole thing down. And I'm going to go like this. Get these guys up here. And then fire goes in there. Whetstone, I guess, can activate on this guy. And that'll have to do. Sure. Good enough. Let's see what this platinum customer card ends up doing for us. Pyro versus Pyro. Yeah, we're already struggling a little bit on the stamina here. Use a stamina bag or something. Oh, yeah, I think you're right, Keyboarder. I think the coal might actually still count for a burning item. Oh, but yeah, now with the space open, it's going to make more flame in there. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. Reflect two debuffs for each legendary, godly, or unique item and increases chance to find unique items by 10%, and you can uh, obtain more than one unique item. Oh, shit. That seems really good. Reflect debuffs is sick. We need legendary, godly, or unique items to activate it. I'm going to grab this backpack leather bag and then re-roll again. Looking for the real good stuff here. This sadly does not increase your likelihood of finding anything but unique items. So, I'm just going to have to get lucky there, I guess. All right, and I was going to do this. So we're going to flip this guy around so we can get the burning thing in there. And then I guess I could do the same with the other one, but I wouldn't have the slot open. Hmm. Yeah, no way to benefit from that yet. I don't want to re-roll one more time. Ooh, there's our stamina sack. And a dagger. Ah, I can't get both, though. You could sell the whetstone. That's probably a little better. Ooh, these synergize. Nice, the molten dagger, too. Cool. Okay. Let's give that a go. Let's see how this treats us. Just having an additional weapon, especially when it's stamina free, is going to be a pretty big difference maker, but oh boy. Oh boy, is that the battle rage or whatever it's called? Oh my goodness, man. We're getting close, but we're uh, struggling early on here. Unique pumpkin again. Interesting. Triggers faster for more food. There's a legendary blood amulet as well. Should be a pretty easy way to get the platinum card activated by something. Got another flame in the inventory. Nice. All items trigger 2% faster per stack of heat. Sheesh. That seems pretty good. So I think if I do this, it's also going to benefit us from that thing, right? I imagine it will. I'm going to grab our blood amulet here. Slot that in with the platinum card. And then clearly we're going to want to try to rework this to give us more slots for it at some point. In fact, I guess I can just go ahead and do that now just to get it ready. All right, I mean, this ought to be a little bit better, right? You'd think we'd be okay here. Got a pretty decent setup. Tons of flame going on. Lots of bonus health from that. 
Extra stamina from our bag now. Oh, yeah. Kick the crap out of that guy. Wow, I didn't even get touched. 139 out of 140. Hmm. Okay, let's see. There is the synergy there. That's interesting. Blood Amulet is looking for the Gloves of Haste. Also a Goobert? That's weird. And the Leather Armor. Wow. Huh. I think I would not mind the Gloves of Haste here. Get those Vampiric Gloves. And then ideally, that's going to be a legendary item or better, so that this, this can still activate. Going to be hasting the Hungry Blade, which ought to be pretty nice. I wonder if maybe I want to haste the Molten Dagger instead. Which I could happily do. Oh, wait, no. We need... Hmm... Uh, yeah, let's do this. And then that, and then this. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, this is PvP, so I'm going up against people in their builds. Oh, another fanny pack. Gain one heat and heal five. When you have at least ten heat, cleanse one debuff. Triggers faster for each food of a different type. That definitely feels like a good idea. I think I take the fanny pack first. No, I take this first and I reserve the fanny pack. This is not very good right now, though. I wonder if that's even the route I want to go. I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to buy this. And then go like this. And that. And then that. And then that. Cool. All right, that's pretty good. See how that fares, I guess. Give him a big whop. Oh, I did forget to put the flame in there, whoops. I realize I had the one in storage. All right, so our vampirism is clearly doing pretty well. We're low on stamina again. I would not mind another stamina sack, but clearly we have turned this around. I am full HP to zero again. Sheesh. Firebender, right? Gotta be. Gotta be. Triggers faster for each fire item. Gain luck, gain uh, regen, and deal 100 damage at 80 heat. Holy shit. Gotta take this. That's a lot of fun. And the fully activated boy. Damn near to it, anyway. Get a mo another Molten Dagger, which doesn't seem like a bad idea. Unique Villain Sword. Melee weapons deal minus two damage. Deal plus four damage per melee weapon the stars. Oh, damn. That could be really good. Whoa. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We got some work to do here. A, uni a unique item, of course, benefits from the Platinum Customer Card as well. We also want to fully surround this boy with molten objects. Or fire stuff. So that means he's going to be triggering that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100% faster. Meaning every one and a half seconds, we use one mana to gain two heat. Meaning we need mana. I just realized. Okay. I'm going to take this. Probably put it in a fanny pack if we can. Which I suppose means... Swap this to here. Go like that. Move the whole thing up. Go like this. Put the sword in here. There's a melee. Put another dagger in here. Turn that into a molten dagger in a minute. 
Hmm. Heal one health per stack when hitting with a melee weapon. Items trigger faster. We'll be better off like this. But then... Put this guy here, and then how the heck are we going to turn that into a molten? I think I need another bag slot or something. I'll just wait for that. Because I think we're doing pretty good here. I definitely need something that's going to give us mana now as well. Won't those molten daggers work against the fire boy since they consume heat? True. Hmm, yeah, I hadn't really thought of that. Got another flame here as well. Pineapple. I don't think that's the route we go. Definitely getting this. And then this boy can go here. Oh, or here. Yeah, that's not a work. Boom, boom. Cool. What hit that person for 75 damage out of the gate? Good question. What did that? Only thing that's capable of dealing that amount of damage is this guy, but it's not only until we get 80 heat. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose that is. Well, while we don't have mana, I suppose I'm pretty happy with this, and we're kind of building around villain sword more so anyway. Yeah, we just gotta find melee weapons for the most part. Melee weapons and bag slots. Ideally, daggers. Probably not a hungry blade. Oh, the thorn whip really wants to be in, in the mix here, though. This is a melee weapon. This is a ton of stamina cost. We've already got very high stamina usage. I think daggers are really the only realistic play for this. It was their class item. It takes half their HP and gives them a revive with half health. That seems garbage, dude. Seems real bad. Grab a lump of coal here, I think. Get a burning one going. Eh, there's a chili pepper again. I'm still pretty sure that's not the play, though. It is a way to gain heat. And practically large greatsword. Yeah, that's a fun one. Send it. Higher. Good enough. Oh boy. This one's going the distance. Shit. No, just kidding. We're fine. Kind of dominating now. Damn, dude. We turn this around. Ooh, half price holy armor. Fun. All right, slide that bad boy in there. Let's see. Got another flame. Where's this guy going? Oh, it wants this thing. Hmm, that could be fun. This does activate platinum membership card, too. Interesting. What if... This. Put this guy down there. Uh, I think I need one, another inventory slot or something. Does this even really work for what we're doing? I mean, it's probably just pretty good no matter what, but it definitely likes having holy armor more than, or holy items more than anything else. But I'm very curious to see what it transforms into and how many flames we would need to do it. It's tempting. Um, let me put it on reserved. Let's 
is that? 15 heat reached, your next four hits are critical. Every two and a half seconds, remove one spike from your opponent and gain heat per spike removed. That's a very specific thing. I don't know if I want to go with that. Ooh, there's our backpack slots. Let's do it. We can do this, and then this. The Molten Dagger's still got the gloves going. This does not allow that to be there anymore, but I can do this. And then I guess put the fanny pack here, and then there, and then there, and then I got the armor here. Sun armor. Cool. That sounds fun. Fun in the sun. He's got that guy. Got all our melee things associated with that. Sparing two, two flames for the friendly fire. Alright, cool. Let's see what that does. Holy armor. Oh, right, yeah. Platinum customer card in the armor. Didn't even think about that. We weren't even at full power. Speaking of which. Fire items are also holy. <laughs> I'm very glad we did that. Every three seconds, use one heat to heal for 25 and remove two debuffs. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, we got another dagger too. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, I think we need to rebuild. Let's do that. Let's see here. Put our fire pit dead center. Something like this. Get this guy in here. Get over there like this. And then... Flip you around. Go like that, maybe. This gets our fanny packs in the middle. This guy's gotta be, like, dead center of everything. And then the holy armor needs to be adjacent to the flames. So, like, actually, something like this might be better, because then he's getting that thing. He's only giving up, like, one slot, and then we'll be able to surround this with, with fire as well. What is this synergizing with? Oh, right, yeah, the dagger. So we'll go... Boom. Well, actually, like this, right? Yeah. Well, eh, whatever. Come like that. This is going to be incredible. Oh, my God. We got our Molten Dagger there. With the Fanny Pack effect. Platinum Customer Card. We'll probably just have three activations. i got to remember where the Villain Sword is going to be here, too, actually. Because I think that'll affect that, right? Or no, that doesn't count for that. Interesting. I don't like this game. You can't make me like this game. Okay, I just bought this game. Damn it, Bear. Glad to provide. Hmm. There's a lot going on with this one, huh? Let's see. I think I swap these two positions. Because this guy needs to be a little bit better centered. This is going to go here. And then... Oh, I guess I should do that, right? Yeah. That makes more sense. Which would mean bring you here. Get you up here. Oh, this one's the mana orb. That's weird. I do need mana. Mana thirst. Okay. Let's try that. And now... Uh, how do I get this working now? Sheesh. Maybe put that there? Does that work? No, it's not in that thing. God, there's a lot going on here. Hmm. Our vampiric love 
buffs as well. Which might just have to be like that. Oh my god, I have a wooden sword still. Jesus. It's not reaching there either, so that's be like up over here maybe, even though it's not great. Man, that sun armor's popping off though. Um and then hmm. Let's get in that at least, okay. Well, that's not bad. Okay, there's three uses there, and then we'll be able to get a third one there eventually, right? And then we can do this to hit both of these guys. Okay, you know what? Yeah, not bad. It's never going to be perfect, but this is pretty good. This is a pretty good... I mean, the sun armor alone. We're gaining... Three, six, nine. We're getting nine heat from that at the beginning of battle. And get enormous heals from that throughout the fight. Along with 70 block to start with. Jeez. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I think we might be onto something here. Some big defense to start off with, at least. Boy, yeah, they don't even touch our HP until they're like halfway dead. We're consuming all the heat we're generating, so Fireboy is not getting into any of his thresholds, but apparently don't even need that. We're good to go otherwise. We got ourselves Mana Thirst. Gain mana on hit. 20 mana gain, steal 10 life, and increased by 1 for each vampirism. Which I don't believe we have any of. But that's okay. So now we're going to swap these guys. To give him that effect. We're not really gaining a lot for friendly fire here. I guess I could swap these two and make that happen. Get this guy in there as well. I'm not really sure why I had that in that position. That's actually pretty good. I wonder if maybe... I think the gloves will be better like that. Yeah. Yeah, it seems right. Let's get this potion belt too. More slots. Oh, right. Yep, yeah, thank you. We got the burning coal and we got the... Uh, the flame here. Oh, you know what we could, could do, actually? He's going like this, and then... Bada bing, bada boom, hit them both. Cool. Ripsaw blade. Yeah, I think we just need more daggers for the most part here. Oh, damn. Lightsaber. A combo there, too. A corrupted crystal. Deal 50% bonus damage, below 30% health. Ah, oh, you're right. Yeah, the flame's not doing anything, is it? They're right there, buddy. There you go. Hmm. I wonder if I should flip this. Nah. Better that way. I definitely feel like I want to find some potions now. I'm wondering if I want this corrupted crystal for anything. I don't think I really do. It's a little too expensive. Stamina sack, yes please. I'll put that uh, right up here. Okay. I'm gonna lock this guy in. I think we just go ahead and send it. Second sun armor would be outstanding. <laughs> I think it's a bit overkill, though. Off we go. What's up, cookies? Get yourself a sun shield. Oh, okay, similar matchup here. 
We need a little extra heat, though, along with the vampires, which is helping us out a lot. Oh, yeah, the heals from Sun Armor 2 are outrageous. God damn, we got a build going here, huh? Extra stamina helped out a lot there, too. Nice. Another free flame. Let's slot that in there, buddy. Where did I put my fire bag? That's in the middle here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I think we go ahead and get our stone skin potion. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Convert 15 health to 30 block. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. That's pretty good. I suppose I might as well get this. Fencing rapier, another fanny pack, leather boots. Let's pick this up, and we'll uh, go ahead and do this as well. Cool. Hmm. Actually, we're better off doing this, aren't we? Right? Because then. This over here. Boom. 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 There we go. Now we still need more daggers. You can hit one more flame next to fire, boy. True. Good. Go like that. There we go. Uh huh. Reflecting six debuffs with this, which I think is kind of an unsung hero of our run so far. Oh, I'm locking that in for sure. There's another dagger, too. That's really nice. Let's grab this and line it up with some flames. I got a spare one or two, right? Alright, good enough. That'll work. Schizo. Get a hundred armor in the beginning, dude. Oh my god. Let me just unload on him. Boy's got himself an impractically large sword build. You'll have to see that. Not quite enough for us, though. There we go. Easy W, dude. Holy cow. I like... Oh, it's a busted blade. Plus four damage per empower. And decreased stamina usage to three during battle rage. That's cool. Hot damn, dude. Nice. Is Pyromancer just overpowered? It's kind of feeling like that. I mean, I hardly feel like I even have a good build going on here. We're just kind of dominating. Let's start survival mode. Why not? Ooh, look at that blood harvester. Yes, sir. Items give 100% vampirism and attack 5% faster for each vampirism. Wow. That's cool. I do kind of want to make that work. We have this. We have the mana thirst. That'd be a really big synergy. Huh. I could just do... This... And that could fit right there. Star items. What needs to... Wait a minute. I don't understand this. Star items give vampirism. What constitutes a star item for this item, though? Does it have to be vampiric? I think I misunderstood this. Thankfully, it's a very low stamina cost. Love should maybe? I think it actually does have to be something that also has vampirism, but th this does, doesn't it? So we do this, I guess. 
There's one. Okay. Oh, this gets double vampirism now. I see. Okay, I didn't understand that. That's still pretty good, though. Okay, okay. And then... Let's see. I think I want to move him to here. Get another flame from that boy, and then... Let's see. We want to... Hmm. Can I... We've already got that activating there, I guess. I want to get this dagger up here, so I think I'll do like this. And then do that. And do that. Nice. Well, I mean, it's pretty good for just that, I guess. And then it is another melee weapon for villain sword. Yeah, we put it in the potion belt, too. Yeah, it feels like a bit of a whiff there. I feel like I went the wrong direction with that guy. I thought it was just going to be any item that went in there was going to bonus it, but... Wow, this dude's got a build, huh? Looks good, anyway. Dude, our healing is out of control. The vampirism and the healing from this build is outrageous. We look like we're getting low, then all of a sudden we just skyrocket right back up. That's crazy. Phoenix. Lose 10 health on attack. Use all your heat to reincarnate with 7 health per heat once. Interesting. Got the ruby whelp in there, too. Got the full friendly fire going. God damn. All right, right on. Yeah, Sun Armor's been doing big work, dude, especially fully empowered like this. Draconic Orb again. Yeah, I'm good. I just don't really need to reserve this anymore either. T update. The best one is Maui Mango by far. Ooh, that does sound good. Hmm. Yeah, I do feel like I should rearrange this at this point, but it's too much work. <laughs> I already got into a pretty good spot before I don't want to rebuild this whole damn thing again. This seems like too much effort. I do want to do enough to allow for this sword to affect the villain sword, though, because that would be a very worthwhile change. How can I do that? I suppose if I move this and then get this guy here. That's easy enough, right? Yeah, there you go. That'll work. And ship it. Unless I have a synergy with anything. Oh, yeah, this would be the sun shield, wouldn't it? That could be fun. Oh, right, yeah, I have a dagger in storage, thank you. Oh, yeah, no, no, I gotta figure out a way to get that in there. Oh, here we go, duh. Nice. Okie dokie. And then... Obviously just throw that in there somewhere. Kind of tempted to try for the Shield of Valor. I'm going to lock this in. If we can find a fanny pack. Health pot actually might be worth it. I still don't have the slots over there, though. Wooden is probably a detriment to this build at this point because of the stamina. Even though it gets sucked into the damage for Villain Sword? Yeah, I guess you're probably right. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Well, in that case, let's get a damn sun shield going. Why the heck not? Uh, that 
does not do it. That's alright. We'll leave it for one round. Sun shield. Sweet. Alright. Send it. Should be pretty good. Oh no. Oh, oh no, buddy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the chance to prevent 12 damage and remove stamina. Okay, that went good. I just dominated this guy. He's got the pure poison build going on here, right? But yeah, that didn't matter at all for us. We got way too much healing to counter that. All right, moving on. Sun shield. Start items gain 10 armor. Wow. So then that means I want to do this, right? Which also means I should probably be up by that thing. Ooh, fun. But that'll probably only apply to shield and armor, right? Still, though, that's pretty sick. Okay, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Does this mean what I think it means? When this gains 70 block, I'm going to deal 28 damage? That's crazy. Like, right at the start? And then we gain the, the armor from the protective purse, too. Which is not going to quite get there, I guess. Hmm. I'm tempted to grab these. Yeah, the potion wants to join the gloves. That's weird. What the synergy is there. I mean, I feel like getting another pair of the vampiric gloves is not a bad idea. So those are helping a lot, right? Yeah, this could be another thing for Blood Harvester, too, which would be interesting. We're running low on time on this one, though. I'm wondering if maybe we just want to let it ride how it is for the most part. Stone is a synergy with the stone skin. Cap of Resilience wants that too. Interesting. Another roll here. Fanny pack. I'll take it. Why the heck not? No synergies, right? Okay. We're doing pretty well. I don't think we need to mess with it all that much. Extra stamina, obviously pretty nice. Yeah, let's just go for it. I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Oh, the goober build. Hell yeah, dude. Love a goober build. Yeah, we are, we are dominating. Oh, hold on. Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that, he's got the spikes. Yo, the Battle Rage? Or no, that wasn't Battle Rage. He just turned that the hell around. What happened? Oh my goodness, that was cool. Holy shit, they're getting a Rainbow Goober. Is that what's happening? Oh, that's sick. He stole all my buffs, did he? Yeah, okay, Squirrel Steal buffs. Interesting, well, that'll do it, dude. Squirrel's Heart Counter Fire, yeah. That's cool, though. I like the Rainbow Goober build. That's really neat. All the goobers in one. Yeah, they won without their rainbow goober. I imagine they're going to be going the distance with that one. That looks like a fun build, dude. Yet another dagger. I can very happily take that. Although I am wondering if it can even slot in anywhere at this point. I guess I can just move this over, right? And then do this. Whoa! Whoa! What's, what, what, what's wrong? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, she's scared of the vacuum! 
She's scared of the vacuum. She's going crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I've never seen her that scared. This <laughs> is a very scary loud vacuum. It is. She's right. She's right to panic. Oh no. <laughs> Poor thing. My goodness, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Get this guy in there. Get the flames in there. And then we're doing this one, right? Yep, there we go. Okay. Still got a lot of money. Might as well try to find some more goodies, I guess. Oh, protective purse, yes please. Get the dragon egg and hatch it after your last round. Brilliant. Is there an endless mod? I don't know. Oh man, this would be cool. I'm gonna be able to sell some stuff for this actually. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, probably not, not really necessary. Healing herbs? Sure, why not? And a blueberry. Back with it. Just for fun. All right. One last roll. Throw a rock at him. Hell yeah. Perfect. Send it. I'll wipe my hands with this. Oh, that's a fun-looking build. Look at that. Oh, my God. The super potions. That's awesome. Love, love a good-looking build, man. It may not have been any good at all, but it was good-looking. <laughs> that's a lot of pots. Strong pestilence flasks. The monic flask. Oh, this, this requires me to have gone below 50. Opponent regenerates health. Opponent drops below 50. Both characters drop below 80%. Consume this and gain one vampirism and steal eight life. Oh, man. They certainly had a focus going here at the very least. Nice. All right. There we go. That looks like we're earning our survival keep here. Just got to survive one more round. We'll be good to go. How much else we need? I want the full bag, though. That's got to be a, that's got to be an achievement, right? Get the actual like full utilization of all the slots. Come on, give me a protected purse. You know you want to. Come on, protected purse. There it is. All right. Achievement unlocked. I decided. Personal achievement unlocked. I did that for me. Off we go. Triple dragons. Oh, shit, dude. Three obsidian dragons, but we just got too much, man. This build is crazy. Without a squirrel on the other side. Yeah, our buffs are out of control. Nice. We survived. Trophies acquired. Rank up. Hell yeah, dude. Good stuff. Good stuff. A fun session of backpack battles. I think I'm good for one good long round of this at a time. Otherwise, my brain gets a bit too melted with the inventory management. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Pyromancer's a lot of fun. I'll try another class next time. I'll see you then.